made clear that Jews should not be blamed for Jesus' death. Congratulations, dude! Best of all, I believe this means you can eat bacon again. You're going to love it. On a related subject, I am grateful for my faith because it helps me grapple with the big questions. Like what happens after death? Is there a soul? And if I go to heaven, can I still hold on to my earthly resentments? Well, I am comforted to hear about a new trend in death announcements. Salon Magazine is reporting on the growing number of obituaries that include pleas like this one. In lieu of flowers, please make a donation to anyone running against Barack Obama. It makes sense. The midterms showed us anti-Obama sentiments tend to be stronger among the elderly. It stands to reason he'd be even less popular among the post-elderly. This gives a whole new voice to America's extremely silent majority. Now, a funeral is not only a time for quiet contemplation of our mortality, it's also a chance for the deceased to take advantage of their loved one's fragile emotional state to push their pet political causes. Mom would have wanted it that way. But be careful, folks. Before you make a donation based on one of these anti-Obama obituaries, Get proof the person died in America. Demand to see the long-form death certificate, the one with a raised seal. We'll be right back.